What's going on with the car market and car prices right now? All right, without delay, let's cut right through the fluff and get straight to what you need to know about the current car market in 2024. Everyone is asking themselves this question. Is now a good time to buy a car? We'll help you answer that question for yourself by covering new car prices, used car prices, including auction prices, and even some unfortunate news on gasoline prices. Yeah, because it seems the politicians are up to playing tired old games with our oil reserves. It's not about politics, it's about reality, friends. No sugarcoating, just the raw details and what they mean for you as a car shopper because we want you to get the best car deal. Let's get rolling. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and right across the way is the amazing Elizabeth. We're diving into the twists and turns of the car market. If you're planning to buy a car soon, you'll want to buckle up because leading up to now, it has been a bumpy ride. Although a bit of good news for you, the yo-yo price fluctuations of the tax season are now behind us. And don't forget to stick around for an awesome homework guy giveaway at the end of the show because we just love to help our friends, the car shoppers. First up, new car prices. Take a look at this chart from Cox Automotive showing average transaction prices over the last 12 years. It's ugly, friends, no doubt, thanks to greed during the pandemic and a very unfavorable inflation rate ever since. While prices shot sky high, it might surprise you to know that prices are actually at a two-year low right now. It's not amazingly low, but it is something. Why is this happening now? Well, first, the Fed slowed their money printing spree in 2022. That caused an inflationary explosion while it was happening, but now it's having the opposite effect like we predicted it would. Right now, without all that free money floating around, fewer folks can afford new cars with these prices and interest rates. Automakers are in general at full production, but most dealers have more inventory than they know what to do with. Speaking of inventory, there's plenty of it out there oh, everywhere, yeah. every city, every dealer. I drove out of Minneapolis a few weekends ago and saw a dealer billboard advertising, we have over 1,000 cars in inventory. <laughs> That's just crazy. New level stats are at eye-opening levels right now. It's an average list price of 47,240 and it's being hit hard with an inventory increase of 46% over last year. Yes. Dealers right now have cars sitting for an average of 72 days. That's a lot of cars collecting dust and expensive interest payments are adding up on those floor plan loans. And guess what? This means dealers are hungrier to deal with you, so you should be pushing hard for discounts, especially if you're looking for brands like Chrysler, Jeep, and Lincoln. And remember how we said years ago, shoot for fairness. After the pirate level greed we witnessed this past few years, we say, screw their need for profits. <laughs> Make them have to start paying it all back. You know what they say about karma? We say, make it hurt. Yeah, go for it. What absolutely floors me is how many Dodge Chargers and Challengers are sitting on dealer lots right now, 2023s, new 2023s, with big $10,000 markups or more. We have a few members working on finding a better Dodge dealer out there who'll be honest about these cars' values. And guess what? They're still looking because finding an honest Dodge dealer is like finding a unicorn. <laughs> That's right. Now, typically, we see a bit of a spring bounce in car sales, right? Yeah. Traditionally, Americans who get a tax rebate are just itching to spend it. <laughs> well, forget about that. This year, the markets are as flat as day-old soda and sales about as exciting as rancid milk. Ew. Jonathan Smoke and Cox Automotive tells us that the usual rush to buy isn't happening. Shoppers are sitting tight because the economic vibes are off and nobody is in a great big hurry to spend such big money on a new ride. Mm -hmm. In fact, the average vehicle age of light used vehicles is still growing and has grown to an estimated 12.7 years. That's up from an average of 11.9 years old since the pandemic started. By the way, 20% of cars on the road right now are 20 years old or older. All right. If you happen to be one of those frugal, <laughs> fix-it-yourself kind of drivers, <laughs> comment below and let us know what you're still driving. We would love to hear that story from you. I might be one of those drivers, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> as far as used car sales go right now, the average list price is 25540 down 4% from last year. But don't let that fool you. Prices are still way above what they were pre-pandemic. Inventory is up. Prices are trending down, thanks in part to dealers getting better buys at auctions. It's a buyer's market out there, friends, if you're savvy, so exercise some courage. If you missed it, go back and see our recent show covering OTD price negotiations. That information is gold. It was a killer good show. Now, here's the recent scoop on auction prices known as MMR or Mannheim Market Report. The Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index dropped like a rock to 199.2 by mid-April, marking a 13.7% percent 
year over year decline. And before you think it's just a bad month, let's be clear. It's not just the month of April that's bad for them. It's the new trend. Certainly. Looking at this chart, we're seeing year over year price changes for different classes of vehicles. And folks, let me tell you, it's a sea of blue. That's right. Car prices are dipping across the board, all makes and models. And if you've been eyeing something a bit more upscale, luxury cars have seen a 12.7% drop. It might be time to get that fancy ride that some of you have been dreaming about. For those of us driving the everyday cars on the road, compact and mid-sized cars, the numbers are even greater. Compact cars have dropped by a steep 17.1% and mid-size isn't far behind at 16%. If you've been waiting to get a good sensible car, now's definitely a good time. Pickups and SUVs, the workhorses and family haulers aren't immune to this trend either. Pickups are down 15% while SUVs and crossovers have dropped by 14% in price. EVs have taken the biggest hit with a significant drop of 18.3%, while ICE engines are only down by 13.1%. I'll just let you do the math on that one. For EVs, sales growth is stalling, only up 2.6% from last year. The hype train is slowing down, folks, but with more models hitting the market and prices falling, there might still be opportunities to score a deal on a new EV if that's what you're looking for. And from what I've seen, working with a few members on used EVs, the prices are much higher than the actual loan amounts given in BlackBook, meaning the prices dealers are charging for used EVs are still far too high. So what does this mean for you, my savvy car shopping friends? <laughs> Bargains, deals, and more negotiating power. That's what. Prices are down. And if you play your cards right, you might just drive off the lot with a steal of a deal. And we do hope, in fact, that you steal it. Just don't forget to use the OTD method we just recently presented in detail. Just remember, lower prices don't mean you toss your homework guy lessons out the window. Do your due diligence, inspect that car, negotiate the price, and as always, don't rush into a deal. Be smart, be patient, and your wallet will thank you later. Liz, we brought up gas prices earlier. What's the latest there? Well, the White House plans to dip into our strategic oil reserves again to keep prices down. Let's be real. The reserves are for emergencies, not for managing bad election cycle optics. Draining our emergency energy stash for a short-lived price stall? That's not cool in my books. So there you have it. New cars, they're still pricey, but getting a bit better. Used cars, prices are tumbling like mad right now, making them more affordable, but keep your eyes peeled. And the EVs, growing but slowing, and gas prices, well, keep an eye on those oil reserves. Remember, friends, knowledge is power. Use it to drive the best deal home. Keep your eyes peeled, do your research, and don't settle for the first deal that comes your way. Remember, knowledge is power and money in your pocket. Buy smart and drive confidently. Get the book today. It's on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, for just $12.99. And let's keep putting fantastic homework into car buying. Wherever you are in your car buying process, we have tons of things to help you. Tons of videos here on YouTube to help those of you who love our freebies. <laughs> tons more freebies on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, in the car buying blog section and several helpful templates. Yes. Besides the book Liz mentioned, for those of you who don't mind spending a few dollars to have some extra help, we have the Homework Guy help desk via email with Liz for $24.99. That's good for 30 days with a very fast response time. There's direct tech support with both me and Liz for $49.99, and we can do a group chat with you. That consults package Kevin mentioned also includes black book values with some coaching on what kind of offer to hit the dealer with. And Kevin, you forgot to mention the $99 phone call for those of you who want to talk to the legend himself, Mr. Kevin Hunter. The 45 minute call is a game changer. Literally everyone who buys that call says that. No matter how easy we've made our OTD technique to do, many of you still need some level of hand holding to get through it. Maybe you need the direct help from someone like Stuart who will do all the negotiations for you. I won't share all the details of our hassle-free car buying service here because you can look it up on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. And there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching our show today. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful tips from the Homework Guy team, courtesy of the legend Kevin Hunter himself, and of course, me, his loyal sidekick, Elizabeth. If you are actually seriously interested in a car purchase and want to negotiate it yourself, the only way you should do it is using the OTD technique from the comfort of home via email or phone. If you go the phone route, always have them email you the details in writing that you discussed so you're not going into a dealership only to find broken promises. Use the tips we've consistently shared and consider visiting our website, thehomeworkguy.com, where you can find those resources and options that Kevin mentioned. And you can also get us directly involved. You can have us ride shotgun and direct help from us is a game changer. 
I might add that if you are indeed buying a car right now and the points we made here today sound a bit intimidating for you, or if you have a looming deadline and an urgent need to get another vehicle and there isn't time to exercise optimum timing, there's a surefire way to make sure you don't screw this up. Contact Liz today and ask how you can put our amazing car buying service to work for you. Let us help you navigate the alligator infested <laughs> waters of car buying. Just like in the Minions, our man Stuart produces great deals and seems to just hypnotize the bad guys in a car dealership. They do what he wants and the outcome is amazing for you. Now, if you've made it this far, I have a special offer for the first five people to respond by text to me at 701-441-3399 saying, I just watched your new car market update video. I will give away a free 15-minute phone call with the legend Kevin Hunter himself to the first five viewers who can respond by text with this message. Thanks again to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We appreciate your loyalty. I want to remind you of one last thing here in closing. As I said in a recent show, we now offer a button on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, where you can sign up for either email or tech support messages of future new shows and new blog posts. For some time now, we've been very aware that the YouTube community really doesn't like us. We'll never sell your contact information to anybody, so don't worry about that, and you will never be spammed by THG. We are just tired of hearing from our viewers that YouTube is routinely turning off their notifications of our shows, so we've made a decision to just handle it ourselves. The deliberate blacklisting and throttling down of our content on YouTube has cost us a lot of money, and many of you have had to unfortunately miss out on the great shows we put out. To all of our longtime loyal subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. As always, thank you for listening.